Hi everyone, John Weber in the Low Country, Associate Broker Charter One Realty. Today I'm in standing in front of 278. Everybody's going to Hilton Head Island right now. They're, we've got people leaving too, but that's the road right there. And I'm actually on Hilton Head Island right now and I get my best material from my clients. And I had a client say, why don't you do a video what it's like to live on Hilton Head Island versus what it's like to live on the mainland over there. So I thought that was a pretty good idea. If you're interested in that, consider subscribing. I put a new video out each week and let's get down to it and learn what it's like on Hilton Head Island versus the mainland. What it's like to live on Hilton Head Island versus the mainland. First thing, before I leave this location, is 278. People ask me all the time, gee, how's the traffic? You know, it's the main road to Hilton Head from the interstate, I-95. I mean, it can get congested sometimes, but it's not... I mean, I've been in the, in the Beltway around Washington, D.C. That's traffic. But one little thing that's interesting, in the summer, Memorial Day to Labor Day, right up before you come onto the bridge going over the water here on the mainland, it's stacked up around 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, late in the day, only in the summer, because the villa rentals are Saturday to Saturday. Everybody's checking in, everybody's checking out. Just a little known fact about traffic on 278 in the summer. I'm here in Shelter Cove right now on Hilton Head Island. You've got uh, restaurants all along here, small shops. Um, one thing that this area right here has, well, the island, is tourists. Okay, you have more tourists here on the island than you do on the mainland. It, that's just a fact. Um, now, I'm not saying tourists are bad at all because Hilton Head's been very famous for a long time. Uh, the beaches, the uh, island was voted the best continental, no, the best island in the continental United States. So that's a pretty big statement. There's a lot of nice islands. So anyway, you have tourists on the island and they're going in restaurants and they're going in stores and that's all good. It's just that on the mainland, you don't have as many tourists. You have people going to Old Town Bluffton, walking around there, it's so cute but you have much more tourists on the island, so tourist. Still in Shelter Cove here, and I've got the marsh behind me. It's a pretty cool area because in the summer they have fireworks here um, on the weekends. It's really, it's really fun. A lot of people come down here and take a look at everything, but uh, I thought of something else is a big difference between living on the island and mainland, and I know this from experience because I've lived on barrier islands. Um, let me just back up a bit. There are people that live on Hilton Head Island, part-time, year-round, full-time residents, and are perfectly happy. There are people who live on the mainland, Bluffton, Okatee. They're perfectly happy too. So I'm just pointing out some differences, things to consider, things you might not have thought about. And one of them is storms. So when you're on a barrier island, you're on a barrier island and you just need to be aware of that with storms. And mainland, I mean, obviously it's closer, it's further west, so you have to just have to be aware of that. Uh, when storms come, obviously you have plenty of warning, you see it coming, weather channel, we're all sick of watching that when it does happen, but something to be aware of. Um, storms when you do live on a barrier island, so, but you do have plenty of time to evacuate if a storm does come. Um, in front of a store called Outside, like voted best local store in Hilton Head Island. Uh, fantastic for outdoor type of uh, equipment, clothes, things like that. Things for the beach, which reminds me of the beach. Obviously, when you live on Hilton Head Island, you're very, very close to the beach. You have access to the beach. There's something like 12 different public beach access and we're not in New Jersey, you don't have to pay to go to the beach. Sorry, I had to get that dig in. Anyway, you can go to the beach anytime you want to, public, 
Many of them have facilities, nice, neat, clean, beautiful. Um, I deal with clients and sometimes they say, I want to be on the island. I like access to the beach. Fine, we'll go to the island. So just be aware that if you live in Bluffton, you got to go across the bridge. And when we go to the beach, we typically will go to the north end of the island. And that beach takes us maybe 20 minutes to get to, which is nothing. So you just have a closer access to the beach. Um, you just hop in your car, go to cross the street, whatever, when you live on the island. So the beach is a big one. But mainland, you still have access to the beach. It's not very complicated. You just go across the bri bridge, find a, uh, find a local spot you can get in. That's it. So I'm here in Bluffton, Old Town Bluffton actually, to tell you a little bit of a difference. The mainland has a town. Hilton Head Island doesn't. So it's been one of the knocks on Hilton Head through the years is there's no town. But there is a town here in Bluffton and they've done a great job architecturally. It's really, really cute. You've seen it in other videos that I've made about Bluffton. Um, in addition to having a town and Hilton Head Island doesn't, if you live on Hilton Head, you can come over here. You know, everybody comes in here, even tourists, that's fine. Um, things on the island, it is a fact, are older. The homes are older, not all of them, but a lot of them and homes on the mainland are going to be newer. So, I mean, in my job, taking people around and showing them homes, people tend to like newer homes. So, but what's going on in the island is a major renovation project. A lot of people are upgrading all these homes and putting quartz countertops and uh, luxury cabinets and flooring, and all kinds of things like that. So you have, um, new versus old. Another thing, um, restaurants, okay? Restaurants are both on the island, they're great. In Bluffton, they're great. But here's the big difference. I don't really go to the restaurants too much on the island between Memorial Day and Labor Day because they're busy. It's hard to get in sometimes. I go to restaurants on the island when I choose to go, which is gonna be after Labor Day on a normal year. It's been COVID, nothing's normal, but it's true. So, and then of course we have Bluffton's got great restaurants as well. So uh, that's another big factor on the two. Okay. Lastly, on the island you have villas. You have thousands of villas. People go there every single year, it's fantastic. The beaches are great, but you don't really have villas, very few of them anyway, on the mainland. You have more permanent homes on the mainland. You have wonderful gated communities, both on Hilton Head Island and on the mainland. But you're gonna have more villas. And then sometimes I have clients saying, well, I wanna be in a villa, I wanna be in a condo on the island. I say, that's great, but you may have a new neighbor every Saturday. And then once they understand that, they might just consider maybe a second home, which is perfect for. So anyway, those are my points. Living on the mainland versus Hilton Head Island. Uh, there is obviously a lot more, but you know, I think it's probably uh, good information for you to understand the difference between the two. So come down and um, uh, the John Weber team will take care of you. I have carefully vetted and hired additional agents and um, I will connect clients with things that fit properly. Uh, we might have 55 plus uh, communities. We might have luxury golf. We might have just regular neighborhoods. So we got you covered either way. And I also have a lot of uh, information to send you. We just came out with a brand new uh, 2020 market report, which is really great. And if you click on the link below, you can get a copy of that. And that has last year's sales, all the neighborhoods, the trends, everything. So anyway, that said, come see me, the John Weber team. We got you covered and find your dream home. Yeah. Behind me is the uh, road 278 William Hilton, William Fording Hilton. <laughs> what is it? Fording Island Road 278.